Tonight, some neighbors tell us they are not happy about a huge development going up near Boys Town. But just hours ago, the city planning board unanimously voted to allow the billion dollar project to move forward. Don Grenice is live with what's happening now. Don. The negotiating is underway between the people who live out here in this West Omaha neighborhood and the people who want to build out here. Plans laid out before the planning board for a sort of walkable downtown out here for these people. Uh, even after developers met with some of these residents, they aren't all happy with these plans laid out in the designs. The only complaint I will have comes from my son who is in high school and he says it's not fair that the 10 miles of trails will not be done by the time he goes to college. It could take about 20 years before the development is complete. Not all of the complaints are so lighthearted. My wife already said if they're putting it there, we're gone. He's talking about four story apartment buildings that as of now have been designed to go right next to their residential neighborhood. Why wouldn't you put the residential next to our residence? instead of us having to look up to a four or five story building. He's also not a fan of the proposed four lane roads that would bring new traffic into the area. Well, what's that going to create for noise on our property? Massive. His concerns were heard earlier this week, which hasn't give developers much time to tweak their plans just yet. You also and I haven't had a chance to talk yet. Right, right. So give and me I the benefit of the doubt. I'll right. sit down and talk to you. We'll see what we can do. Are you going to be taking all of what they've said into consideration? Absolutely. In, in fact, I think if you had the opportunity to go person by person, um, I would say that we addressed 80% of what we heard on Monday night. The response has been widely positive. Local churches and schools are already on board. Noddle's company has already shown its success with projects like Exarban Village. He thinks this project could be a huge revenue boost for the Metro. You think about that investment, then just think about how much turnover in those dollars there is. And as mentioned by that mother, there will be designs that are uh, for bike trails, hiking trails, shops, restaurants, office spaces, all included in these designs as well. Uh, the next step moving forward is for it all to be appearing in front of the city council. Back to you guys. All right, thank you, Don Bernice, reporting live with some very loud honking out there in that neighborhood it's tonight. Out there, isn't it? That Boys Town development isn't the only exciting project starting to take shape in West Omaha, the Lumberyard District along 135th. The between Millard Ave and Q Street quickly becoming the walkable area originally designed. The new Omaha Police Precinct is ready for a ribbon cutting later this month and restaurants are already claiming their spots along with office spaces. As for the apartments being built, the first units will have residents starting in March.